okay hello hello so i'm probably going to do this video as a slight voiceover so if you're not really into that maybe just mute the video and play some of your own music while watching this but if you do like videos with voiceovers then feel free to keep me unmuted but that's enough of an introduction i'm gonna jump right into the video so as you can see it's nearly the end of may and the reason for that is just me having a strong disliking for mermaid I am not a fan of Mermaid because I always feel like it's out to get me. Um, but with that aside, um, let's actually start talking about what's going on in the screen right now. So as you can see, we started off with a couple of sketches and thumbnails. That's just for me to get my ideas down and see which one I like best. And as you saw, only one was really mildly decent. So now that I've found the thumbnail that I liked best, I'm now just refining the sketch, just putting in some more detail, reshaping the rocks to how I like them. Originally, I wanted the ship to be just kind of cruising on the side, and then I realized I kind of wanted this piece to be more sinister-ish like, and so I decided I would have like an evil, angry mermaid thing, and I would have the ship now shipwrecked into the rocks. So as you can see, I shrunk down the sketch to a smaller size just so I could lay down the colors and not really get taken in with keeping it inside the lines. And basically just making it a thumbnail like this really helps me not focus in on the details too much and helps me lay it out just where it should be. And then I'll blow the image back up to the actual size and then I'll start rendering out the actual images with the sketch layer pressed down onto it. So now I'm just rendering out the background. There's no particular reason why I chose to do the background before the mermaid. I actually switched between doing the background and bits of the mermaid here and there. Just because focusing on the background so much, it was giving me tunnel vision and I was like, I don't like how this looks, even though I knew it looked good, but in my head, I just couldn't help but think it didn't look good. So I kept switching out between doing a couple other things or other areas of the wood just because it helped me not like get too tunnel vision and start hating what I was doing.
So with my style, I'm kind of into the lineless art look. So what I'm doing here is just painting over the sketch layer. And I'll be honest, I really was not sure what approach I wanted to take on with the mermaid. I didn't know if she was going to be wearing something and if so, what it was going to look like. I had no idea. So for the meantime, I just focused in on doing the face. So I was doing the eyebrows, doing the eyes. I did know that I wanted the eyes to look kind of vacant and sinister -y. and I really think the darker features of the face helped to convey that with the darker bits of the eyebrow and the dark lips. I think that helped play into it. So the hair process was kind of stressful, kind of fun, so I kind of just started picking the colors that were peeking through from the background. It was a long trial and error process of how to section off the hair, and it was basically just me drawing a line, coloring it in, zooming out, seeing does this look good, and if it didn't look good, would changing the color help? And if the changing the color didn't help, then it was probably the shape of the hair strand. And so for this bit here, I was kind of going for an eel-like thing. As an artist, you can draw whatever you want. It can be made up, it can be partially real, partially fictional. It's all up to you. The world is your oyster. Again, really not sure what creature this is, but in the end, it looked good, so that's all that I care about. for the shading of the body i really cannot tell you what i was doing here i was kind of just winging it and i was like you know what i think i know what i want this to look like but i'm not sure how to convey it i was just trying to make it work super long process this is why i do not do people this is why i primarily do backgrounds and just illustrations without people So the grayish black layer that you're seeing around the mermaid right now is a layer I made above everything else and then I filled it in all the way up into the objects, so around the mermaid shape, around the rocks, around the wood, and I did that so it could be my water layer since everything I've been doing so far has been on one layer and it would have taken just too much time to paint the water around all the shapes on the same layer so that's why I created a layer above it. And after I did that, I'm just gonna clipping mask a, another layer to the water layer and paint on that so everything stays within that shape.
So that concludes my video for today, and finally my drawing for Mermaid is done. I am so happy that it's over with. With my disliking of Mermaid aside, I am actually really pleased with how this turned out. I think this actually might be one of my favorite pieces I've done so far because my art style is really showing through this one and I just really like it. And if you guys like this as well, maybe consider sticking around and hitting the subscribe button or if not and you just like this video in particular, feel free to give it a like. If not and you don't want to do either, that is fine with me. Once again, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.